Hey, what's up guys? It's Fish here and welcome. So I quickly have to insert this little intro right here solely because of how mind-blowingly epic the end of this battle was. I had no expectations that it was going to go to this level of epicness in a free-for-all for third age. It was just so goddamn cool and I really just felt like I had to make an intro to let you guys know to stick around towards the end because it is by far, as I said, the best replay I have seen on third age in a very, very goddamn long time. So enjoy the video and fish out. Hey what's up guys it's Fish here and welcome back to another free for all on Total War 3rd Age Reforged. Today we are at the battle for Middle Earth. As I said this is a free for all battle. We have elves, we have dwarfs, we have humans and of course we have orcs. This was sent in to me by my discord so if you guys want to be a part of these battles in the future then do make sure to go and join my discord and keep an eye out for when these guys are making it. The link will be in the description down below. So I was told by my discord that this battle had such an unexpected ending that it was just absolutely awesome and I had to cast it. So that's exactly what I'm doing. So if you guys want to see more battles like this, more free-for-alls with just loads of random factions just all coming together and fighting, then make sure to hit the like button and obviously comment down below letting me know uh, that you guys want to see more. Maybe give me some ideas for factions and types of battles I can do in the future. And obviously make sure to stick around to the end and see that crazy ending which I've been told about. I haven't seen it yet so I'm excited to find out what it is. So let's start off by running through the army comps really quickly. I will also pop them up on your screen so you guys can just kind of get a general idea in case I miss any units so I don't have to go over every single one. So we'll start off by looking at Gondor, the, the men army. We have some Gondorian heavy knights on this left flank. We also have a ballista along with some shield of fountain guard. These guys are looking great. They kind of have like the Citadel guard shield that we've seen in Rise of Mordor. Then as we continue to go back, we have some more guards of Ozilioth along with some more Gondorian winged swordsmen. These guys are pretty sick indeed. We also then have some more General's Bodyguard along with some Gondorian Citadel Guard archers. Then a basic line of Gondor heavy infantry with some uh, some Wardens of the White Tower. Oh, these guys, these are reforged units are so cool. They really are. We also have some Sons of Aragorn, Aragorn, however you pronounce that, butchered it, whatever, we'll move on, uh, you guys can read it for yourself, along with some Pinaf Galley Cavalry, and then finally some more Fountain Guard. Then if we take a look at the Dwarven Army, we can see on his front line he has some Ironfoot Crossbowmen, continue to make our way back, we have Erebor Infantry, these guys actually look really interesting, I've never seen them before. We also have some Iron Foot Guard, along with a, a, a Catapult, along with some also some more Sons of the Fallen, then we also have some guards of Kazakh Doom, some dragon slayers, and then finally some Ironfoot war goats. It's such a cool looking unit. Really, really nice. I love what they've done with it, the Reforged team. Then if we take a look at the, the elves, these are the elves of the Woodland Realm. On the front line, we have some Averi Elder Pikemen. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Then we also have some Elder Royal Guardsmen with some more Hair Air Lang Heavy Infantry. Just ignore everything I say here with the uh, Woodland Realm forces because I'm just going to butcher the Elvish. Then we also have some Elder Pathfinders back here, the Moose Riders, the Heavy Cavalry for the Woodland Realm. Along with some more infantry over on this right hand side, we can just see more of the same, you know, standard Woodland Realm infantry, archers, heavy infantry. And they do look really cool as well. I love the look of their shields. It just looks so much like the movie itself. Then finally some Forest Wardens. Then the final army we have some of obviously the Orcs of Gundabad, the Orc forces. On the front line we have some Snow Trolls, then some Cave Trolls behind them kind of mixed in. Then we also have some Guardians of Cardoom. These guys look heavily armoured. That's again one of the things I love about Third Age Reforge is that the evil factions are actually really goddamn good. Uh, instead of just always expecting them to lose, they have such a good chance of winning. We also have some more Numenorean Shadow Guard. Then some, we've got the standard Snag Archers back here, the Weep crappy units, along with a Catapult. And then finally some Witch Realm Bodyguard. Woo, these guys look insane. Their shields are just so crisp. Some amazing textures on these bad boys. I probably missed a few units from either side, but oh well, you guys can see the pictures anyway. Oh yeah, these dudes look nice as well, the Black Uruks of the Mountain with huge weapons, very very nice. So let's kick this off, I assume the first kind of engagement is going to go off between the, uh, the Gondorians and the Dwarfs, because they are kind of the closest to one another. I imagine the Dwarfs here, the Dwarfs are edging towards the Gondorians. 
they are ready to look for a scrap. And again, I'm not sure if this is on score resolution or if this is on last man standing. It doesn't actually say in replay. So I'm kind of uh, clueless as you guys are. But I'm, I would assume they would have set this up to be score resolution this time as it just makes a lot more sense for the free-for-all. The catapults are loading up. And are they, are they already in range of a Gondorian army? They are. Holy crap, the dwarven range is insane. Are they going to find any big hits? Oh, a perfect hit in the center of the general's bodyguard. Oh, the dwarfs do not play fair. Destroying the general's bodyguard. Ripping it down to how many men? 33 men? That's brutal. And yeah, Harry Hobbit is going to retreat his cavalry out of there as soon as he can. The dwarfs do not play by the rules whatsoever. And they've got another volley of the artillery making its way in. I think this one is probably going to get another direct hit. Wow. This is coming in. Some veterans of Azilia are just getting smashed now. Hitting some really expensive units. The dwarfs are right now. They have to be careful though. Because if we look at the minimap. As we get some more hits coming in. Oh, another. This dwarven artillery man. It's just burning these Gondorians. Left, right and centre. This is no mercy. Whatsoever. If I was Gondor. I would be sprinting in the face of the dwarfs right now. Having to trying to stop this pain that is just coming in on them what i was going to say is we get another shot finally missing wow that that was you know one shot out of like 10 and these ones are going to be full <laughs> thankfully an entire volley missed but what i was saying is the dwarfs need to be careful because they're going to be getting sandwiched by the elves and the men if they're if they're not kind of they need to deal with one side quickly and then turn around and fight the other because the elves are in a hot pursuit you know they're not that far away you know, this battle with the men is not going to be over. And the evil faction over here is still trying to make its way over. But it's a pretty far off. So I imagine what's going to happen is the dwarves and the men are going to fight. And then the elves are going to come flying in the back. And then the orcs are going to turn up late. Then pushing in the side. We have some Gondorian archers opening up. Returning back fire as we get another shot. Thankfully only killing a few of them. The ballistas also going out. So some artillery pushing back. For the, uh, for the men. However, they have yet to hit. Oh, that was a good hit. Killing some of the sons of the fallen. And actually destroying a catapult. That's basically what the ballista is used for. Is destroying enemy artillery. And taking out the trolls and, and creatures like that. Whereas these catapults are mainly used. For taking out large, dense bits of enemy infantry. The pikemen are getting smashed. I imagine they're getting focused down. By the iron crossbowmen. From the dwarfs right now. Trying to just whittle down these pikemen. Because, yeah, again, the Dwarven infantry will probably be able to cut through the Gondorian infantry. However, these pikemen might prove a little prudent. They are obviously receiving a lot of missile fire. And these dwarfs are fairly clumped up as well. So, you know, the, the guards of Azilith are going to be doing okay. As we have a catapult here. Oh, my God. Just ripping through the Gondorian infantry. Just watch their numbers drop as they push in. The, the warriors of Erebor are pushing in as well on top of that charge to go ahead and support the catapult. This battle is already amazing. I goddamn love Lord of the Rings and they've done such a good job with Third Age Reforged as we get Gondor infantry pushing in. Yeah, this battle is already going to be a good one. Let me know in the comments down below right now who you guys think are going to win at this point. I'm going to have to say that I think the... I think the elves are going to come out on top because they can sit back and hammer the back line for the dwarfs. And then they can also clear up the whole of the, the orcs of the Gund uh, orcs of Gundabad as well. That shot misses. So yeah, I, I, I'm putting my bet on the elves just because I feel like they're going to come in at a really opportune moment and hit the back of everyone. And just be able to use their archers really effectively. But if, if, if either one of these sides, if the men or if the... Dwarves can like kind of clean up the, the other, other opponent without taking too many casualties. They definitely stand a chance as we have these Erebor infantrymen, or infantry dwarfs I should say, going at it with the Gondorian heavy infantry. Even some general units coming in as the archer fire continues just to hammer the back line. You can see this unit of iron foot crossbowmen just dropping. The archers for the men of, uh, the men of Gondor are really actually paying dividends right here, hammering the back line. You can see a lot of these Kazakh Doom Reclaimers, the awesome two-handed axemen who also throw throwing axes, are doing a great job. And all the catapults have actually been destroyed as well by that ballista, so definitely proving its worth. 
as we get another two shots off, killing a few more of the artillery crew. The dwarves do look like they're starting to push around the flank, but as I said, the elves are coming. Wow, the elves are coming slowly but surely. Yeah, look how close they are, running up some, some spearmen, just wanting to get these guys into the combat as soon as possible. Wow, these guys are going to come up, take this hill as well, and just be able to harass everyone fighting, because all the archer fire coming in from the elves will hit Gondorians as well as hitting dwarves, so we'll be racking up twice the amount of kills. That is not bad whatsoever, not bad at all. This is already turning into such an amazing free for it really is, and that's why I love battles like this. Battles where everyone's just coming in, having a full scrap. I really dislike the free for alls where like sides are camping and not really fighting. I just like it how everyone pours in on top of each other and you, you have, you know, humans fighting elves and dwarves and orcs all at once and dwarves fighting everyone all at once. I, I don't like it when everyone's just kind of sitting back playing and maybe a little bit smarter, playing a bit more strategically. I just like these massive brawls and hopefully you guys like them as well as we do see uh, some of the shield fountain guard fighting, trying to push back the front line as we get a beautiful, holy crap, that ballista shot. Artillery is coming up big in this battle so far, tearing through the Ironfoot crossbows and the Kazakh Doom re uh, Reclaimers. Another shot as well, wow. That ballista is huge as the archer fire hitting the Ironfoot war goes. I think this might be the general unit. Maybe not. Uh, maybe this is the general. I think this is the, yeah, this is the general unit right here. The war goats having to push in, trying to defeat the enemy infantry. But soon enough, we're going to see the elves just appearing on that line. Where are the evil faction? The, uh, the god. Oh, they're all the way over here. I think they have to go all the way around the mountain. I think they just got a really annoying deployment. Yeah. So what's going to happen is the elves are going to pour in on top of these guys. And then the, the orcs are going to move in behind them. So this is going to be a funnel forward. Gondor are kind of holding the defensive line. And everyone's going to be pouring in towards them. Whereas the dwarfs are going to get the hard end of the, the exchange, I think. The axe throwers coming in from the Kazakh Doom Reclaimers along with the Dwarven General as well pushing in. He's fighting against Spears, so probably wants to fall back. That's exactly what he is doing. Kazakh Doom guards fighting against the Gondorian. Uh, Citadel Bodyguard? Oh, Bodyguard. Kill the enemy general. That could be great at mass routing them. And they've also got a really nice flank off here with the, the Mithril Guard as well. This infantry we saw in the last free-for-all battle did an amazing job as well. So they're going to be trying to wrap around the flanks. But oh, look at that army disappearing as we have all of the Woodland Raiders, the Elder Pathfinders, come flying in. They're actually hitting the Gondorian cavalry. That is great. And soon, I imagine, to be fighting the dwarfs as well. Look at the elves just pouring in back here. They're taking this hill and oh, the dwarfs and the men are in trouble. The orcs are still pretty far away, so the elves can clean up all of these guys as we do have their archers starting to fire. Oh, this is going to be deadly. They're going to be finding so many good hits off here because everyone they hit here is an enemy. If it's dwarfs, if it's men, as they have their cavalry pushing in as well. Oh, the elves are in such a good position. I'm glad I went with them for who I think is going to win. Because I, I feel like they can just sit back, clear up this battle, and then turn and take on the orcs. You are starting to get a bit closer now. Oh, the orcs are actually going to turn up really... They're not too far away. They've got trolls running. Oh, no. The trolls are in fast flight mode right now. And they're going to find this uh, this uh, woodland catapult all by itself. If I was a woodland catapult, I know it's not going to escape. I would just turn it around and try and get, get off as many shots as possibly could. And this is extremely dangerous as well for the elves. If they're not careful, their archers are just going to get slaughtered by the trolls who are pouring in. Yeah, the catapults are turning. I don't think they're going to get a shot off at all. Um, yeah, they're not going to get a shot off. No way. So we'll go back to the main engagement. But these archers have to be very careful because by the moment, they're all by themselves. As the rest of the elven heavy infantry does pour in. And the dwarves are in a sandwich. The dwarves are in a, a, an elven and men sandwich. This is a freeway that a dwarf does not want to be a part of. As we have the Gondorian Ballista as well just ripping forward. I love these battles. I know I've said it so many times. But when everyone's just fighting everyone, it's just pure manic, I don't know, carnage. And I love to see that. As we have the, the dwarfs surrounded, the artillery from Gondor coming in, hitting everyone. And as I mentioned, the elves need to be very careful at, uh, at not getting caught up here. They're actually turning all their archers. This is a smart move, turning all their archers to hit up these clumped up uh, trolls. They can do loads of damage to these guys before they manage to get over them. Yeah, you can already see a few trolls maybe going down already. 
Maybe not, but they've definitely bloodied a lot of them. So that's a smart move by turning the Archer Fire. And they're also going to be turning the rest of their missile fire over here, hitting the Iron Crossbowman. As the, the Dwarfs have managed to push through on this right flank, actually, fighting up against some of the Gondorian Winged Swordsmen, and two-handed heavy infantry. Man. The battle lines have been drawn right now. The elves are trying their best to break the dwarfs and the men on this right flank. It's almost like the, the dwarfs are fighting alongside the men against the elves. Even though they're not because they're getting smashed in the flank by the rest of the Gondorians. Such an epic fight right now. And the orcs are just about to turn up as well. You can see the battle lines. The dwarves look like they're doing pretty well on that, that far right flank. The elves look like they're... I don't know who's going to win out of this freeway right here. Maybe the elves just because they've got the fresher units. But the dwarves are also throwing in their axes, getting some like plenty of kills on all of these soldiers right here. And if these reclaimers come charging in with a pretty decent charge bonus, I believe, they'll be able to kill plenty of the enemy. And I think they also have some crossbowmen. Yeah, some crossbowmen coming right in the side of the elves. Again, you've got the entire line back here. Also, the elves are forming up here. They've decided to hold the line right here, use their archers just to hit the enemy forces, which are soon to be coming around this side as the orcs are turning up late, seizing the advantage. We have so many good units. You know, which round pikemen pushing in? I wouldn't be surprised. Only half our force remains. Only half the dwarven force remains. I wouldn't be surprised if I saw these guys make a truce to turn towards the enemy forces. Because I think the elves are going to be the only ones left to deal with them. Maybe Because, yeah, these guys, they're both killing each other off on this heavily fought battle line. We have the heaviest infantry from the men of Gondor going up against the heavy infantry of the dwarves. This is an intense fight, and I feel like it's not really going anywhere, as we still have some more ballista shots going off, trying to pick away a few of the men back here of the elves as they reform a little bit better. A few of the shots actually coming in, picking off a few men. It's a shame I can't see how many kills that ballista gets, because that's killed a lot of soldiers, and the dwarven catapults as well. As we see more and more dwarfs fall to the elves and the humans as they do slowly start to surround them but I think the crossbowmen are coming in really big they are starting to get silenced now by the elven artillery and by the elven missiles yeah you can see that all these iron foot crossbowmen are going down as we also have a breakthrough here by the veterans of Ozilia who have also managed to make their way through onto the iron foot crossbows using this kind of gap which has formed because of the amount of dead that has occurred and actually have managed to make it through here onto these crossbows. And the quicker they kill these crossbows, the more the dwarfs just kind of lose hope. But I, I think they have enough men here to really take on the, the men. Or enough dwarfs here, I should say, to take on the men and finish these guys off. <gasps> the enemy, or oh, the dwarven general has been slain. That's not too good, but I think the dwarf's morale uh, is fine. Even though they're exhausted, I think their morale will hold them. These are sons of a fallen. They have really good spearmen. And they're actually managing to break the, the elves right now. Holy crap, the elves are actually being pushed back. This is going to allow the dwarves, who have actually managed to also kill the humans, just to clear up this entire side. Are the elves going to get sandwiched now? Because if the dwarves commit all their soldiers around this left flank, completely envelop the, the, the soldiers over here. They could break the Gondorians, and then as the elves start to take on the the el the uh, sorry the take on the the orcs, then the elves will get sandwiched. God, if this is last man standing as well, the oh as the archer fire just comes flying in on these hero lang. I'm butchering that pronunciation. I do apologise. We just see a smoking elven body right there. The archer fire is fighting back. They're actually doing a great job at killing all of the missiles. It's just this catapult they need to deal or the uh, the catapult for the orcs, which is all actually all the way back there. They have plenty of time just to harass these guys. Something changes in the course of battle. Yeah, even though even though the dwarves probably don't have enough men to survive, are they 
Oh, I think they're making a truce. I think they're making a truce, you know, because I was told that something like really unexpected happens at the end. I think the men and the dwarfs, because these guys were in voice chat whilst playing this, I think the uh, the men and the dwarfs have, have made a truce, and they're actually going to gang up on the elves as the elves now get sandwiched. Wow, beforehand the elves were coming up uh, and sandwiching the dwarfs, and the dwarfs did not like this. This is epic. This is absolutely awesome. More replays like this, please, Discord. Please, please, please. I would love to see more replays like this. Also, what's the biggest free-for-all you can have? Can you have an eight-player free-for-all? Because I just imagine that would be insane. An eight-player free-for-all. I can imagine you can, right? Surely, surely you can as the missile fire comes in. Oh, Lord, we'll zoom in here as well now because all the forces are along on the mini-map. We can see the missile fire coming in, actually taking out quite a few of the pikemen. So are the dwarves and the men... Yeah, they are. I think the I think the the men are coming round the, the far right flank. Yeah, they're coming round the far right flank, letting the dwarfs head up the centre. And that's going to be really bad for the elves because they've committed all their men uh, to the dwarven front already. As this archer fire is just horrific, going back and forth right now. Oh, this is going to be brutal. It really is, because the elves have committed all their, their infantry has already died on the rear, so they can't protect their entire flank. I think if I was the elves right now, I would be forming the tightest box I could and just waiting to receive, because surely their archers, the elven archers, will be able to take care of the, the snag archers. But I guess maybe not. These are such cheap units. It's almost a waste using your ammunition to kill them. Because there's like 250 arrows. These guys are so crappy. It's just mainly they have enough arrows to really start hitting the enemy. And the elves have such small numbers. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe all three of them are forming up. I think all three of them are forming up to take on the... Oh, I think they are as well. This is so sick. I think they're forming up to, to take on the orcs. They're coming together. Oh my god, this is just epic. They're joining up. If the men are going to join, the men are reforming first before I guess they push up. They're going to form one long battle line as we get a... Oh, artillery is just... This artillery could be so... Oh, coming in with a massive hit there. This artillery could be game-changing right now. But if the, dwarf, the dwarves are forming up on the left flank... So the men, the dwarves, and the, uh, and the orcs are all forming up. And the, and the, sorry, and the elves are all forming up. To get ready to receive this. This is just this is just glorious. It really is. Sorry. I keep on going like harping on the fact of just how cool this is. But you don't see battles like this. You know, just normal no like no scenario battles. This was a completely free form battle. You don't see too many battles like this. And that's because this is done by the Discord. This is done, you know, everyone's in voice chat whilst playing. So if you guys want to be a part of these battles where you stuff like this can happen, do make sure to join my Discord and obviously drop a like on the video itself. The Orc Artillery is really missing some big targets. I imagine it's... Oh, I say that. Oh, that just came so short. If that was like an inch longer or over here, like if you get a hit right here with the Artillery, that's going to be so painful. But I think because of the way the actual hill curves, they're getting a bit lucky. And again, I think the, the Orc Artillery... Oh, so lucky right there. Yeah, the Dwarves are forming up on this far left flank. I think the Dwarves are going to have to deal with all the Trolls, which they might struggle with a little bit as they have no more missiles. The humans as well. Yeah, the Gondorians are moving on this right flank. Again, the artillery. Oh, my God, that's so goddamn close. I clenched. I definitely clenched. This one's going to go overhead as well. Yeah, having your soldiers just behind the hill really does help out. I think that, because if you get a direct hit here, that's just going to be deadly. The elves are going to be, form, be forming up as the orcs come flying in. This is like battle of the five armies worthy. And they're actually going to be charging. <gasps> they've been charging forward. They're not sitting back at all and holding the hill. The wrath for ruin and the world's end as the elves just come flying down. This is a perfect way to end this battle. The archer fire is horrific. Pinning down these axemen. The dwarves are making their way in. Fighting up against the black uruks of the mountain. Wow, we also have some of the blacklock engineers as well. I wonder what these guys... Are these guys just artillery crew or what? I really am curious. Oh, the artillery though finally coming in big. Getting a direct hit onto the forces of the elves. Wow, the missile fire. It's just so many archers coming off as Gondor are finally starting to enter the fight now. Moving down this right flank. 
The archer fire, though. There's just so many snag archers. We also have all the snow trolls making their way in, hitting the elven line hard. And I imagine that's going to be exactly the same on this right flank. Oh, this is going to be deadly if the cave trolls can get some good charges off. As another direct hit here, hitting a lot of the elven forces right there. More artillery. Again, another perfect hit. Are the orcs going to come out on top here? I think the orcs can definitely do it. As they get a bunch of cave trolls just coming in the back of these iron foot crossbowmen. There's nothing really nothing left for them to be protected. Well, some forest warden spearmen coming in. Another perfect hit. This artillery is just doing so much work right now. That is also causing horrific morale damage as well. Even if it's not showing it, it's whittling down their numbers and also hurting the front line. And just look at this battle line. We have some cavalry left. Who's this cavalry? Well, we have some Gondorian bodyguard. The Gondorian general has, uh, ma after making an alliance with the elves, look at that battle line. You normally get this type of battle line in, you know, in in Attila. You don't normally see it too much in in this game, in, in Medieval 2 or Third Age. Oh my god, that artillery is just brutal. I think this cavalry needs to, instead of going after these archers, needs to go after the artillery as they do get a flying in charge. The Numenor Shadow Guard, I think, are pretty decent in melee combat, so they should be doing okay. I'd be silencing the artillery. The archers and the artillery are just thinning out the elven line. Again, look at that. Another direct hit. The rest of the Gondorian reinforcements are going to be coming up as we do have some, some of the suns moving into the side of these uh, of these witch king uh, pikemen i believe they're called witch realm pikemen what an awesome charge right there and this is one of the reasons i'm really excited for free for in warhammer 2 because if i'm playing with you guys in discord and we're all talking we can come up with you know we can come up with like strategies on the fly like this these pikemen from the elves are doing great. Some of the Gondorians are actually hitting the uh, the elven pikemen right now. It'd be really cool if they came up with like a dynamic system. As oh, that's a brutal, another uh, just deadly artillery hit from both sides right there. It'd be awesome if they came up with a dynamic way to make alliances. I think that'd be really, really cool. Another artillery hit just about missing. How's the Gondorian cavalry doing? Yeah, not too well by the looks of it. I guess they've been having to been, they've been forced back. I'm actually going to turn up the music just a little bit because this is just this is just epic. We have to have uh, louder music in the background. Hopefully, this federal video doesn't now get copyrighted because that would really really suck if that did happen. The missile fire is still coming in thick and fast, but the dwarves have completely crushed in that far left flank. I wonder who's going to win if, if these guys are all breaking around these flanks. Then I wonder who's going to come out on top, because now, surely after, as we get the final bit of Witch Realm Black Guard moving in, the elite forces of the Orcs of Gundabad. Yeah, I wonder what's going to happen after they've obviously dealt with the Orcs, which I think is definitely going to happen. Are they going to then turn around and fight on each other? Oh, I'm really interested to see how this one plays out. Especially if this is last man standing. Because if I was, if I was, if this was last man standing and I was playing as, say, the dwarfs or something, I would be like pretending to commit but not really committing so that all three of my enemies wasted their, wasted their men fighting one another. And then I moved in right at the end and cleaned up and won the day. The archer fire is just brutal once again. As the Erebor infantry come flying in on the Snag Arch. The Snag Archers are pretty much already routed. They might as well just already have run from the battlefield. Oh, brutal. That is from the Witcher units. Yeah, the, the Nazgul right there. Coming in, hitting the Blacklock Engineers. I wonder, do a Blacklock Engineers like throw something? I, I wonder what their missile is. Maybe it's a crossbow because that's by the looks of it. That is what it is. Some of the rest of the Dwarven noblemen are charging on, needing to silence these Shadow Guard. The cavalry charge, actually this is great, the cavalry charging down these witches are going to be amazing. That's going to whittle them down. I think the Witch Realm Bodyguard do see how important these guys are. If they are going to look to have a victory here, they're going to be supporting their cavalry and their general. The elves are now fighting the Gondorians. I'm not sure if this is on purpose. This is just an all out scrap right now. This is such a crazy cool battle. 
rest of the Black Guard are pushing in along with the Witch Realm Pikemen. Yeah, but the, the elves are almost surrounded here. If I was the dwarves, I'd be so tempted just to come flying in here on the back of the elves. What are they shooting at? They're shooting, they are shooting at the, yeah, they're shooting at the witches right there as the rest of the dwarves come flying in here. Should be able to stop these guys from shooting at their missile attacks because I imagine they can just be so deadly if they get round the flank. Some of the Black Guard are going to be pushed in though to help out of the Witch Run Bodyguard, sorry. Are going to be round over there to support. Catapult is out of ammunition, I think, now? Yeah, I think the Catapult is out of ammunition. The rest of the Dwarfs have managed to make it to the back line of the Nur Nur Numenorean Shadow Bodyguard. The crossbow fire is actually really helping out these dwarfs. And there you go, the, the, the enemy general for Gundabad is dead. And that might just cause a mass rout from their weaker units. Luckily, they do have some pretty strong forces. You know, obviously, these witch run bodyguard are very, very elite. So I doubt they'll rout. But, you know, a few of these weaker units who have been in battle for a little while, getting sandwiched in by the Gondorians and the elves, they might just sim simply just run from the battlefield now their general has been killed. They still have a very, very sturdy pocket of resistance right here. Lots of pikemen fighting both the elves and the dwarfs. And there's also a little bit of, like, crossover right here. This is perfect for the orcs. Defeat seems almost certain, but who knows what could happen. I definitely don't. I'm so eager to find out who does come out on top as we have the Gondorians. If I was if I was one of this, this like, maybe Gondor who doesn't really have a lot left, I would be betraying everyone right now as we have the rest of the Gondorian cavalry coming in, hitting the back lines of the pikemen. They need to be careful because if the pikemen turn around, this Gondorian general's bodyguard will be getting slaughtered. They need to be very careful. The rest of the heavy two-handed sword infantry should be cleaning up the rest of the guards of the, the Karak Doom or whatever it was called very, very soon. With the rest of the cavalry just helping the dwarfs out right now, right now. This general's bodyguard is just going back and forth, hammer and anvil, hammer and anvil, doing plenty of damage. How are the dwarfs doing over here? They've definitely lost numbers. Yeah, there's hardly any of them left. But they should be able to deal with the rest of the shadow guard. And this is what it's going to turn down to, just this little scrap right here. This is going to be the final engagement. Because I think the rest of the, the, the Erebor infantry just aren't going to stand. Who has a lot left? The elves have a decent pocket right here. And so do the, the Sons of the Fallen. So the dwarves have a decent. Gondor has cavalry left. And obviously the orcs have well, the orcs have the most amount of men. But oh my god, what is that? The catapult coming in trying to rout them maybe. Yeah, the catapult is shooting carcass shot. So I imagine they're actually trying to maybe cause a mass rout, which is a very smart move because there's not a lot of dwarves and elves left. So if they can get a direct hit here, however, this could go very badly. However, the witches are still alive. Oh, that's, that's, that's definitely going to be hurting the morale of all of these guys. Showing in the, 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 uh, the shots going to be debuffing all of them. That was a direct hit right there. They still have a few of these witches left. So two of these guys are going to be shooting out their flame bolt. And the rest of the Orcs of Gundabad are now killing these guys. So do the Orcs of Gundabad have the advantage now? With their catapult still operational? That's actually hurting a bit of their, mo their own morale. Oh no, they're actually going to cause a mass rout on their own side. Yeah, all of these guys are going to rout now. Holy crap, because of their own catapult. I don't think they needed to do that. I think they could have maybe just won it out. Wow, that is not too good at all. They're routing, they're routing 49 Witch Pikemen right there. Oh, they're, they're, they're literally losing like a, a hundred pikemen as the rest of the elves just run them down. So I think besides this unit and besides the witcher unit, the uh, the units of of Gundabad are pretty much spent now. They have a few units still left remaining. So I'll just speed it up just so these guys can clean up. Yeah, the rest of the guys do come flying in right now. So who has men left? We have men from the elves. We have a small kind of contingent of Black Realm bodyguard along with some dwarfs over here who are coming after these pikemen. The cavalry is going after the artillery. As, so besides this, does Gondor have anything left? I don't think Gondor do have anything left. Yeah, the elves have the most left. I think the elves still have the most left. Yeah, if I was the dwarfs, I'd be betraying because there's no way the dwarfs will be able to beat the elves right now. 
as the Weasel Witch Realm Pikemen do retreat back. Yeah, I, I, if I was, if I was the dwarves, I'd be a hundred percent betraying the uh, the elves. Maybe ganging up with Gondor to try and take out the elves because they have so much left that there's just no way that that the dwarves alone will be able to beat them. And again, this could literally be scored resolution as well. So I guess we'll find out right at the end of the battle itself if it is scored resolution. The pike of the witch realm bodyguard are moving in. Or if I was the elves, even if I was just the elves, I'd be breaking in the back of the dwarf. Just trying to kill them out because there's no one else who can really challenge them. Challenge the elves besides the dwarves and even then it's kind of shaky. So if I was the elves, <laughs> you can tell how much of a worm I am. Just of that, I'll betray you, I'll betray you. What an epic turnout though. So I think they're going to be running off. We'll speed it up again just to watch the, uh, these guys because they're just going to be chasing down them. So the rest of the elves are back here. Yeah, you got some iron for the crossbowmen. We have an entire unit, pretty much, of elder royal uh, royal council right here. Some heavy sword infantry, I and mean, that's about it. The uh, the Gondorians actually have a few men left, and they're starting to. Tell I'm not sure if this was on purpose, but they are now cutting down the the elder royal guard. I'm not sure if this was just because they walked into them or not. I think it might have been just because they walked into them. So these guys are still chasing down here. Yeah, they're chasing down these uh, these Witch Realm bodyguard right now as the elves continue to fight them. The Dwarven army is exhausted. So I don't want these guys to get too far away. I don't really know where the Witch Realm bodyguard is going. And the Gondorian cavalry is all the way over here. I guess just falling back a little bit. So I'm glad we are playing on triple speed just because not a lot is happening right now. I think there's a lot of movement going off as they're finally going to get caught by the Gondorian cavalry. Pushed in right there and then the elves are going to come in uh, so that's a very nice charge by the Gondorian Cavalry. That should be slaughtering whatever's left of them and allowing the elves just to cut up the rest. The dwarves are getting some energy back because they are exhausted. They are extremely tired. So you got some more crossbows right here. And also the final elven unit is just literally just standing up here like, yeah, I'm going to chill on this hill. I do not want to move at all. And some of the Gondorians are moving up as well. So the elves, I think, have decided that this battle is done. Yeah, they just, they just clean up the rest of the Black Guard as they retreat. I think they're done now. They're still alive. Where's Gundabad going? Yeah, what's going to happen now? The, dwar the dwarves have turned. The dwarves have now turned facing the Gondorians. Are they just going to meet in the center? Are they just forming up? It's a smart move here by the dwarves just to get some energy back. Oh, they admit defeat. So is that it? So uh, I think the Orcs of Gundabad have admitted defeat? Or is that everyone? Is everyone... Have they just ended it? I think they've just ended it. Okay, there we go. They accepted it. They came together. They didn't have a scrap towards the end yet. Everyone routed. So yeah, they all admitted defeat. But they, they decided that, you know, kind of like the Battle of the Five Armies, how after they had managed to defeat the Orc forces, the Elves and the Dwarfs just didn't fight. They just came together and accepted the defeat. So cool, I'm going to cut out all the end of this battle now because it's just going to be the units routing off the field and then we'll take a look at the final result. Okay guys, there we have it. Victory for the size of good. We can see that the Dwarfs lost 1,200 men. Sirius, the Air Woodland Realm player, lost 2,000. We also, the Blue Lotus lost pretty much his entire force and the Gondor lost pretty much all their forces, only having a couple hundred remaining. We can see what the Dwarfs got kill-wise. A lot of their heavy infantry, these Dwarven noblemen getting 311 kills. This Iron Crossbowman almost getting 400. This, uh, this Guards of Kazakh Doom getting 335. Lots of 300 kills, really, really nice. The Dwarven Artillery only got 110, but it was, it was just so, it was a scare factor, which I think really played into this battle. So, oh my god, that battle was so much fun to cast. Hopefully, it was just as fun to watch. If you guys want to see more battles like this, more Third Days Reforged, and just please do let me know in the comments down below and by dropping a like. I obviously read every single comment, and I'll especially be replying to them in this episode, just because it was just such a good battle. I really did enjoy it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time, and fish out.